Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Crispy, now casting the second game in this series of three between Liquid TLO, or the little one, spawning up in the top right spawning location. This is on Steps of War, obviously, in case anybody didn't know. And he will be uh, versing his opponent, Kiwi Kaki. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how I decided to pronounce it. I didn't know how to pronounce it, so I just decided on one pronunciation and stuck with that, but I can't remember what I decided on, so I'll probably be just changing that up sometime during the game. Now, obviously, as I just said, this is Steps of War. Um, now, this is... I'll just use this mouse to show you the attack or rush distance or, like, the main path to your opponent's base, whatever you want. Now, this is not a really... Actually, I'm, I can use these arrows. Not a really long rush distance or attack path to your opponent's base in Steps of War, but it does usually end up resulting in pretty long, intense games because you've got all these crazy expansions over here. Well, they're not really crazy expansions. They're just normal expansions. But, yeah, you've got all these expansions over here, and with these... Reeds in the middle, reeds, tall grass, whatever you want to call them. They're actually really good for, what's it called? Terran players. Yeah, no, don't ask how I forgot what Terran was called. But I find it really, really annoying versing Terran players on this map because they can just like set up a whole bunch of tanks over here and then just like put a scan here if all your men are here and just blow them to pieces from the, the other side of the grass and you can't see them. Or they can just put some tanks down here when you get your initial expansion and just blow your expansion to pieces, which is really never good fun. So... Uh, TLO just going the 9 pool, which is where you get 9 uh, drones, and then put a, sp a spawning pool down. I was hoping you guys would have noticed that before. I noticed it, I just I didn't want to break my concentration by saying that. So he's getting the 9 pool, and root kiwi khaki, going the 1 gate, and then a simulator, which is the build I usually prefer to go for, and then you just get your... If you can afford it, which you can't at the moment, but he will be able to in a second. Uh, just get your cybernetic score up next, so... I'm not sure why Kiwi Kaki isn't killing this drone from this uh, TLO drone, but there's probably a very good reason behind it. Because, there we go. Ah, he's just going to try war that drone. So, Kiwi Kaki just trying to make a nice little choke here with his gateway and cyber. That's what I generally like to do. And these Zerglings are coming in very quickly now, just getting that uh, Zealot out as quickly as possible. Hopefully, yeah, he's holding positions. The mountain most annoying thing that I do sometimes... Please, just always remember to make your Zealot hold position. Because if he doesn't hold position, then he's just going to run out, and they're going to run around him, and... Him? Yeah, pr pr pretty sure Zealots are males. And they're just going to run around him, and... Get in your base, and kill all your probes, and that is never good fun. So, I have done that a couple of times, and I just kick myself after doing it, and you just think, Oh, God, why what, why didn't I just hold position that? So, just make sure you always remember to do that. Now, TLO transitioning into this Roach Warren, which is um, very smart. Uh, I wouldn't say it's original, but he's just felt like destroying that Roach, Roach Warren now, but I thought it was a very smart build, because you go the 9 pull forcing your opponent to get out a quick zealot, or two, as we see here, and then you go straight into the roaches, which basically annihilate zealots. But, uh, at the very last second, just, uh, oh, now I know why he destroyed that, because there was a bloody probe right here. So he waited for that probe to get destroyed, then just destroyed that roach warren. If we just go to, uh, Kiwi Kaki's view, he saw that roach warren going down, so that's the last thing he saw. Now, he thinks there's roaches on the map, so he's going to be warp, uh, yeah, warping in a whole bunch of stalkers, or just one stalker, and so yeah, that's a pretty cool thing to do. You just make your opponent think you're going for a particular build, and then do not go that build, and get an expansion instead. So, uh, TLO is just going to be macroing up a whole bunch of drones and just taking them all off the resource line. I'm pretty sure that wasn't by accident. I've actually done that a couple of times by accident, just taking, because that plays Protoss, so taking all my probes off the resource line, and then just <laughs> Kiwi Kaki going this double pylon block thing at the front of uh, TLO's base. I usually see this more with Terran plays. What they do is they just put a couple of bunkers right here, which is really annoying. Now, I'm not sure if... Yeah, TLO will probably be able to get out of that. I don't know. Zerglings are pretty small. They should be able to fit through that. But apparently not. Because, yeah, you, you see that more with um, Terran plates. They just put a couple of bunkers here, not allowing you to get out. And then they'll just fill those with men. So what Zerg players usually tend to do, or the pro players anyways, they'll just put a drone out the front of their base to just patrol along here, preventing players from being able to put any buildings there. So now TLO going back into the Roach Warren, probably because he has more gas, he'll be able to support the production of those roaches. They are 
of course. 25 gas, that's actually not very much gas. I don't play a Zerg, sorry. I didn't know they cost 25 gas. But that is not very much gas. And now, uh, Ka Kiwi Kaki going for a 4 gate. So this is getting pretty interesting. Neither if uh, Kiwi Kaki should actually just try to expand right about now because he has got. Oh no, did I say Kiwi Kaki? Oh yeah, Kiwi Kaki. What am I smoking? Kiwi Kaki should try to expand right now because he has got TLO kind of just stuck in his base right here. All he's got is Zerglings and one Roach. And <laughs> nice that yeah can these yeah these stalkers can shoot that I was gonna say that roast just trying to get off a couple of what's it spit acid yeah acid saliva just getting a couple of acid saliva shots there and Kiwi Kaki should be getting an expansion up now because he has just got TLO turtling in his base so this will buy him a very large amount of time to get up an expansion or something of this sort something very interesting and funky. Now, neither players are going for anything amazingly extraordinary right now. Just TLO just trying to macro up, sorry. A whole bunch of stalkers, uh, sorry, roaches. I do not know what's going on with my speech today. Now, just in case anybody doesn't know, I just said macro and macro. Macro is basically just anything that you just leave to do something. Just like you build drones and then you just leave them to mine. They macro that by themselves. Or you just leave buildings to build and they just macro that by themselves. Notice this, uh... Overlord scouting, you usually want to scout around about 8 or 9 minutes, because uh, that's when you're...